Hey, what's up everybody? Today I'm doing something a little different. I've gone out of the house to come out and do some shooting. I've got my camera here and I've been wanting to do some experimentation with hyperlapse photography and videography. So I've come over to this lovely chateau which is in the center of my town here in France and I'm going to attempt to go over here and do my first ever hyperlapse shot. I'm going to do a truck shot in front of this chateau and I want to see if I can get a good shot and I'm going to take you step by step through my process to hopefully a successful hyperlapse shot. Okay so first of all what is hyperlapse? Well if you have not ever seen in these hyperlapse videos, it is essentially a time lapse where you move the camera. To achieve a four second shot at 30 frames per second, then I'm obviously going to need to shoot 120 photographs. Now I don't want to talk too much about the gear because I think gear is is kind of not that important. I mean I have a I have kind of a nice setup here, but I don't even want to talk about that because you can do this with anything. You can do this shot. I've seen it done with phones, so don't think that you need a certain piece of gear to get the shot done. I'm going to attempt this shot handheld. I'm not going to be using a tripod, so I'm interested to see how that will look and if I will be able to pull it off with some kind of stabilization in post. It's important to scout the location before I start shooting because I need to find two things. I need to find a point of reference because with hyperlapse when you're moving around your object, you need to keep your camera trained in on a specific point of reference and that will help keep all of your photos in line. So what I'll be using is this little gargoyle thing which is in the center of that building and I'm going to be moving directly around that. I've gone over here and I've scouted the location and I've gone to the point of where I want to start my hyperlapse, looked at my point of reference and then I walk to the end and I've found that point of reference to make sure the composition and the framing is still good. In addition to that point of reference, it's also good to find something symmetrical that you can follow along as you walk. As you're shooting that hyperlapse, you can keep yourself in line line and keep everything kind of aligned. I'm going to have my body pressed all the way up against this wall that I'm going to be going along and that wall will serve as my guide as I'm shooting the hyperlapse. So once I take the first shot I'll need to keep a steady pace for all of the remaining shots. Now I'm doing roughly one second for each image and I'm taking one full step left in between each shot using the wall as my guide. It's quite rough and imprecise which is what I want to test out actually in post and really see if I can achieve some desirable results while shooting handheld. Now the reason I want to pace myself is so I can get smooth movement with anything that is changing within the frame. While I'm shooting a stationary building here I might have some clouds moving in the background so if I properly pace myself between each shot the motion should look smooth once the hyperlapse is finished. I have my camera set in manual mode and I've adjusted the shutter speed to a fast enough setting to not blur as again I'm shooting handheld. I'm also using grids and guides in the viewfinder display to help keep my point of reference in the same spot for each photograph. So I'm finished with my shoot, I've come back and I've copied all the photos over to my local hard drive. Now to bring them into After Effects, I'm going to go to File, Import File. I'm going to select the first image in my sequence and make sure that I have Importer JPEG Sequence selected. Now my photos will be imported as a single image sequence file. So just as I plan, my file is large enough and it's just over 4 seconds in length. I'm going to bring it into my comp here and then I'm going to scale it down to 57% and give it a preview. And you'll see right off the bat that it is looking absolutely terrible. It is really wobbly. Even though I use my point of reference, you'll see that it's just, this is completely unusable. So now what can I do to fix this? Well, I'm going to go to the Effects and Presets panel and search for Warp Stabilizer VFX. I'm going to grab this effect, drag and drop it directly on my clip and it's going to automatically begin to analyze and stabilize the clip. Now this may take a few minutes, so be sure to be patient. Okay, so it's all done now, and let's have a look here. Now you'll see it might still be a little wobbly in the middle, but this is absolutely drastically better from the previous clip. It's really almost night and day. This effect is absolutely amazing. So there you have it. There's our handheld hyperlapse shot. All right, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. I hope you learned something. Now go out and shoot your own hyperlapse. Let me know how it goes. Be sure to subscribe, like the video, and I will see you next time.